Hi, it's me again. And do you remember, it was big news a while back, wasn't it? Gary Lineker being suspended for match of the day for things he said. It was big news. So the BBC wanted to take a full internal review about it and see, see to lay down some actual ground rules for what people can and can't say. And it turns out, well, we've got the results here. We're going to have a look at it. But it, spoiler alert, yeah, Gary can say what the hell he wants. That's, that's basically the outcome of that. He can do what he wants. I don't know what dirt he's got on people at the BBC. He just do what you want. Do what you want. And so can a few others now as well. Let's have a look together, shall we? The BBC has published revised guidance on the personal use of social media for everyone working at the BBC, including emphasising that hosts of flagship shows cannot endorse nor attack political parties or campaign by proxy by posting frequently on a range of issues that resemble one party's manifesto and present sustained criticism to a government or opposition policy agenda. The update unveiled Thursday comes after a controversy about a post from sports pundit Gary Lineker. The broadcaster said of its new rules, focuses on everyone working for the BBC, respected high standards, blah, 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 blah. What it says, I've skimmed it a bit, hold on. The report highlighted that there are no examples of broadcasters we have found demanding an explicit prohibition on taking sides on party political issues or political controversies. They've looked at everything and said, yeah, there's no problems there. So they can do what they want. They can do what they want. And it also says it's only while you're working. I'm trying to find a bit because I had to reboot the computer and I've lost all my bookmarks. Hold on. Now, those presenting flagship programmes on the BBC carry a particular responsibility to respect the BBC's impartiality because of their profile on the BBC. This responsibility extends to the use of social media during the periods when these flagship programmes are on the air and for a two-week window before and after the transmission of each series they present. Other BBC staff or freelancers are not required to uphold the BBC's impartiality through their actions on social media. They are, however, required to respect civility in public discourse and not to bring the BBC into disrepute. It doesn't change anything. It doesn't change anything. I mean, there's another headline here. The BBC social media guidelines are victory for presenter power, says Insider. And this is Lord Sugar's job. Look, Lord Sugar joined Gary Lineker in expressing his approval of the revised guidelines, which allow high-profile figures to express views on political issues. Say what you want. Say what you want. Nothing. What was the point? How much did that internal review cost? How much money did they spend on that review of these guidelines? It took them months. Months. They've had people working on this. Did they bring in outsiders? They, who paid for this? I'm going to file another FOI request. How much was spent on this internal review for social media guidelines for this to happen? For this to happen? And there is a lot of uproar about it. I mean, I don't particularly care for her, but Carol Malone had this in the Express look. We pay Lineker's wages, so we get to tell him to shut his mouth, says Carol Malone. She goes off on a much more eloquent rant than I'm capable of doing. How much was spent on this internal review for nothing to happen? Gary Lineker is above the law at the BBC, and he's not even a BBC employee. His company is contracted to the BBC, and his company employ him to do a job. That's it. He's not a BBC employee. None of it would have affected him. Nothing's going to change. So what was the point of spending all that money on an internal review? BBC? I mean, I'll be honest with you, I'm quite busy today, so I haven't had the time to read... Oh, like this Carol Malone one goes on for ages. I'll put links to these three articles that I'm talking about down in the description if you want to go and and read them and then shoot me to bits about me being wrong, which is possible. It's not going to be the first time or the last, will it? But, um, yeah, I wonder how much they spent on it. That's that's my main point of contention here. Let me know your thoughts on it down in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. Hit the buttons below, and I'll see you in the next one, whenever that will be. Ta-da!